I'm pretty sure I'm like the last person here unless somebody's staying here another night, but uh, I've just been talking to a lot of actors about their experience here and if they're represented by anybody that was here. I'm Angie Seeger. I'm with Signature Models and Talent here in Scottsdale. We are a full service modeling and talent agency, Zag and After Franchise. And um, this is my second year seeing you. Yes! Been, this is an amazing... Oh, damn, damn it. <laughs> okay, fine, let's go inside. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I'm back. Yes, yes, so Southwest Actors Conference um, that is put on by, and Expo, excuse me, um, is put on by uh, Bella Hibbs with Good Faith Casting, and she is amazing, and um, I fully support it. It's amazing. I'm so proud of all of our signature models and talent, actors and models that come here because they learn so much. Yeah. And afterwards, we see that they're excited and they're jazzed and they're getting the training, they're, they're adding stuff to their resume, they're getting a pro portfolios all up to date and guess what the opportunities are happening i am a firm believer of bloom where you're planted so it's that. been amazing to see how people can work on their craft here i mean you can always go everywhere anywhere else but we have a lot of resources and great talent here in the valley it also yes. gives you like a year of like okay what did i really accomplish from last year so for me it's like lighting another fire did i take enough classes am i working on certain things mm -hmm. to help propel my career yes the confidence is there, their, um, their drive to do better. I know, I, I've seen it too, but anytime you can spend any moment with your agent is like yes. the best. And I've been able to talk to some of my talent, they ask questions, and, I mean, it's just one-on-one, -on -one. it's really amazing. Have you represented anybody new from meeting them at the conference? I was just gonna say that. Um, I've met so many independent actors that have come up to me, and, or I even saw them, and I'm like, hey, are you represented? And if they're not, I'm like, here's my card. And, um, I'm like, I kind of have a little bit of pull, so um, <laughs> go ahead and put my name down and, and we'll set up an open call virtual. Yeah. And met some, I met some amazing people last year and I, I signed them and uh, hoping to sign some more. I learned like that I got better at was definitely crying. It was well, wild how fast I got there. Yeah. Even the first exercise, just like going in that gaze, that internal gaze. Yeah, the internal gaze. Yeah. Faith Hibbs Clark, she has like an acting me method, like a science-based acting method. Yeah. And there was a workshop on how to cry on cue. And you guys, I heard people like sobbing yes. in the background. Yeah. I feel like I learned more this year even than last year, even though this is my second year. There was a little bit, only a little bit of like overlapping information especially in the panels because such similar questions like people from last year had similar questions this year to casting directors and agents managers but we had producers this time and we had a director so some similar information but it's always great to hear it from different people for example the casting director panel bella was the only like consistent person because there were different casting directors here last year so it's always great to hear from different casting directors because at the core of it they just want you to be yourself and be happy and be good at acting. You know, it's not like they want you to have like a, such a specific thing. It's like work on your craft, get as good as you can and you know, continue to grow if you can. But really it's more about like the role you might just not be good for the role. So you just have to keep auditioning. To be honest, I, I wish so many more actors that I know came. I know it's the Southwest Actors Conference, mm -hmm. but it really is for actors in general, everywhere. like period, yeah. everywhere. I had such an incredible experience this year. I mean, I was volunteering, so I got a, a whole behind the scenes and I got yeah. to sit in, in a lot of the sessions. I think the main takeaway or theme this year was really like not being afraid to show up as you, like oh bringing gosh, yourself yes. to the role. Yeah, like often authenticity yeah. and be you. So yeah. I'm looking for what the perfect self tape is or whatever. It's like, you have to be a good actor, like get training and then just keep being yourself. Yeah. It's important to, to have training and to practice your craft and network and make connections. And of course, but like none of that really matters if you're not showing up as you. I think that that's really hard for a lot of actors to yes. do. I think a lot of actors are so concerned with, well, what do they want? What is the casting director looking for? What does the director want? And you're yeah. trying to mold into to a version of yourself mm -hmm. to book a job but they can see when you're doing that like just show up as you and that, yeah. that was like a reoccurring theme from a lot of the speakers being able to be a fly on the wall during the panels and overhearing the conversations they're having what they agree on what what they do the same what they have different perspectives on yeah. it's just so good to learn a little bit more about what they do their business what they're looking for what they maybe don't really care about that you're overthinking yes. as an actor everybody that went up whether it was the talent agents the managers 
the directors, they all said very important things and they shed light to so many different perspectives. And I think a lot of actors needed to hear that um, because in this industry, you can become very insecure quick. No one's responding to you. No one's telling you how you're doing mm -hmm. and it can hurt your feelings. So having them go up there and kind of reassure us like, hey, you're doing good was the biggest thing for me. For yeah, sure. I love that. I also got that a lot of like them telling us you're good keep going and you will eventually get cast. That's right. I would love to come again next year. And I'm trying to think like, what else would I want from this conference? Cause I'm sure Bella's gonna send out a survey again. Last year she sent us out a survey to everybody just to get information of like, what did you like? What didn't you like? What could we improve? Um, what do you want us to like not change? The best thing about it for me was just to learn more about the industry and get everyone's in-depth perspective and it's really helpful. I really like the mixer. Oh, you know what? The VIP mixer. The VIP mixer was in a pretty small room, so it was loud and uh, I wish it was in a, like a little bit of a bigger room because even if it felt like, oh, people are a little bit isolated because the room is bigger, like we're all willing to go up to each other because it's like a VIP mixer. We know everybody that's there is willing to talk or else they wouldn't even be in that room. They wouldn't be in a mixer if they didn't want to talk to all kinds of different people. So that being in a bigger room, I loved that there was sushi. I loved the little photo booth and drinks. So I saw you filming a bunch throughout the weekend. Um, what else do you do other than like cover events? My passion is right and directing that's what I want to do in the future and I do have some budget for a feature that I wrote I, I don't know if I'm ready there but I'm getting close because now I have a community behind me um, but for a lot of my clients with Moneta Design we write all the content for them so they come with us for with a vision of how they want their business to be seen and so we write the stories and come up with all the creative uh, promotion for the company. I'm an extremely extroverted person. So last year I already felt pretty comfortable to just going up and talking to whoever I wanted to talk to. But this year, because I had already like met them once or seen them or um, this time I also went on stage. And so people were coming up to me and being like, hey, I saw you on stage. I felt even more comfortable approaching people again, saying hi to people again, doing like more conversations and just felt a lot more chill because that's something that I, th I think it's a natural thing to have and I still struggle with as far as sometimes it's a little bit scary to go up to people but once I go up to them and start talking to them like everybody is really really nice and somebody that I would love to work with and I want to hire and take his classes or whatever is Brian who teaches about networking because he was saying a lot of things that I was like oh yes I do that but if I did it like that it would be even better like he talked about what you should talk about when somebody tells you tell me about yourself what are you doing what have you done recently I'm used to answering that question on a self tape audition but of course i'm not going to answer it the same way in a networking environment so um having him give like specifics and like don't go there and it is okay to go there like i was like wait this is really good and it would help me as a super talkative person to like stay on the right track and be able to have a good conversation and not spend too much time because i do like to talk a lot and i am very aware of like okay how about let's stop talking? <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And she's amazing, too. Oh. Thank you. You didn't have to say that. No, you so are. Sweet. You know what? You have such a great chemistry and oh, energy, you. and I love it. Yeah, thank so. Thank you so much. You That's so agent? sweet. I do. <laughs> in Arizona, I do. There you so, go. Let me give you my card. Actually, you did give me, give me your card on Friday. We were in line oh, together. Yes, I did. We were in line together. She's like, have you ever thought about getting representation in Arizona? And I was like, I actually haven't, so maybe. Yep. We'll see.